What's up nail friends? It's now summer here in Canada. So today's video, we're gonna do this fun and easy watercolor popsicle and ice cream set inspired by summer and this photo that I saw online. I'm gonna be using hard gel for the base, but you can use acrylic, poly gel, or dip, whatever your preference is. So let's get started. So to start, I've already removed most of her old set down to a thin layer, and I'm just prepping with Egoista Acid-Free Primer. The gel I'm using today is the Egoista UV Builder Gel with the Egoista Gel Brush. This gel has little to no heat spike and is more of a medium viscosity, so it doesn't really move around the nail very much, and it's really easy to use. My first step is to fill in that regrowth. So I'm just applying a thin layer and trying to avoid touching the skin. And then I'm giving that a full cure. I also wanted to mention that I did not overfile or burn her. She is my model that was in my last gel video and it just seems to appear that way in the video. In person, they weren't red at all. And if you've been following me for a while, you would know I don't overfile. The health of my client's nails are always my number one top priority. After I cured that, now I'm gonna be building up the nails. So I start by applying a slip layer all over the whole nail, which will help my builder bead go where it needs to go. Then I pick up a big blob and I apply it near the cuticle area. I then go back and forth from side to side while pulling the gel down the nail and keeping the bulk in the center for the apex. I'm flash curing each nail and switching hands while each nail is curing to speed up the process and make sure that the gel doesn't run at all. After I've applied on all five fingers, that's when I give a full cure. Now I'm just wiping off the tacky layer and it's time for finish filing. When doing gel nails, I like to use a ceramic flame bit as I find them to not be as sharp. And since the gel is easier to file, I don't wanna remove too much of it while finish filing. So I use the carbide around the cuticle area and then I thin out the tip and the side walls while keeping the majority of the bulk in the center. After debulking with that bit, I'm finished filing with a hand file. This is a 100 to 180 grit, and I fix up the shape and then I go over the whole nail to even it out. I then buff all the nails with a white buffing block, and I have my client go scrub her hands with soap and water to remove all the extra dust before gel polish application. For the ring fingers, I'm adding this stunning hologram gel from Egoista. This is number 14. My model Bailey loves the Egoista hologram gels. And if you want to see more of them, check out my Egoista hologram swatch video. So this will be the feature nail and the other nails will be painted white. You'll wanna apply your white in super thin coats, and we're gonna be doing two coats, but it's really not gonna matter as I'm gonna be doing a lot of watercolor on top of these, so it's gonna hide any mistakes that you make with your white polish, but just try to apply it as evenly as you can. After that first coat is cured, I'm just adding my second coat and then I'm gonna give that a full cure. Make sure before you add your watercolors to remove any of the tacky layer that's on the gel with cleanser. 
The watercolor palette I'm going to be using here is from Michaels. I featured it in my last haul video and it was only $7, such a great price. Anyways, I apply some water into the palette on the color that I choose to use and I'm using a tiny art brush here to apply the watercolor art. Then you'll wipe off your brush and soak up some of the color out of the art and you'll keep doing that until you get the desired look. The watercolor is so fun because it's not only extremely easy to use, but if you can't hand paint very well, then watercolor is a great alternative because it's a, not supposed to be perfect. So for the popsicle stick, I've switched over to a really small brush and apply it in the same way. Draw your design, wipe off some of the water out of the brush and then soak up some of that color out of the design. For the pinkies and the thumb, I'm adding matching watercolor all over the nails in a random abstract pattern. And this kind of reminds me of the way that Sharpie art looks. I'm just using the brush that the color palette came with. On her pointer fingers here, I'm just gonna be doing a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone. So I'm using a medium green and then I'm removing the liquid and then I'm gonna be adding some of this cream color. You can see me doing that on the side here for a more in-depth and realistic look. For the lines on the cone, I've switched over to my Egoista Detailer Brush. I love this brush for fine details as it's thin, but it's also stiff, so you do have a lot of control. I topped the cone off with some black chocolate chips, and for top coat, I found using a matte top coat to be best, as when I was practicing, I used a shiny top coat and it seemed to remove some of the art, which you definitely don't want after spending all that time doing this. So when applying the mat, I just glide it over the art carefully. I flash cure for 10 to 30 seconds, and then I add a second coat just for added protection. And for her ring fingers, we're doing them shiny, so I did add Egoista's rubber top coat, and this does have a tacky layer, so make sure to remove that when you're finished. And here is the finished design. I thought it was perfect for summer and super fun and easy to do. If there's anything else you'd like me to try with watercolor, for any upcoming tutorials, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified for when I post so you never miss a tutorial. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.